morning everyone this is adaya and robin from class 8th d today i will be sharing about the 13th station of the cross let's know the series of stations as follows first jesus is condemned to death second he is made to bear his cross third he falls the first time fourth he meets his mother fifth simon of cyrene is made to bear the cross sixth veronica wipes jesus face seventh he falls the second time eighth the women of jerusalem weep over jesus ninth he falls the third time tenth he is stripped of his garments eleventh he is laid to the cross twelfth he dies on the cross and thirteenth he is taken down from the cross fourteenth he is placed in the sepulchre today i will be describing about the 13th station of the cross the 13th station of the cross means how jesus was taken down from the cross let's understand it through the scripture the bible explains in the gospel of john chapter 19 verses 38 to 40 that the body of jesus was taken down from the cross let us read later joseph of arimathea asked pilate for the body of jesus now joseph was a disciple but secretly because he feared the jewish leaders with pilate's permission he came and took the body away he was accompanied by nicodemus the man who earlier had met jesus at night nicodemus brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes about 75 pounds taking jesus body both of them wrapped it with spices and strips of linen this was it according to jewish burial customs the death of jesus was precious to save human life let's understand from the scripture from john chapter 12 verses 24 unless the grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains just a grain of wheat but if it dies it bears much fruit the sacrifice of jesus for us thoroughly was selfless and purely perfect joseph of arimathea treated jesus with great reverence and care and respect selfless from his actions inspired many he exhibited jesus love in the gentlest way in our daily lives we have the opportunity to show love and concern to our family members we must show kindness to our family or friends in their difficulties or needs dear friends the life of jesus christ has taught us very clearly in the gospel of luke chapter 6 verses 27 but to you who are listening i say love your enemies do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you pray for those who mistreat you with this brief message i wish that may god bless all of you Have a happy Lenten season. Thank you.